Entrepreneurs in developing countries who want to expand their business can apply for a loan from a microfinance institution, an MFI. This institution will estimate the entrepreneur's ability to pay back the loan by assessing his or her business skills, business plan and the market. When a loan is granted, interest is charged. Interest rates consist of four cost elements. Operating costs to administer and process the loan. Cost of funding. For a microfinance institution to borrow funds so that it can lend to its clients. Provision of non-performing loans. Some entrepreneurs are not able to pay back their loans and an MFI needs to make a provision for this. And profit. Profits are required to be reinvested in the institution so that more entrepreneurs can be served. 2.5 billion people around the world still don't have access to financial services. Differences in interest rates are almost entirely caused by the loan size, as this has a direct influence on the operating costs. The smaller the loan, the higher the interest rate. Say an MFI has 1 million euros to lend to clients. If it lends an amount of 10,000 euros to 100 entrepreneurs, the operating costs will be much lower than if it lends 1,000 euros to 1,000 different clients, in which case it has to assess 1,000 clients instead of 100, draft 1,000 contracts, pay 1,000 visits, etc. Let's compare the interest rates in three different countries. In total, it would look like this. In the Netherlands, the average loan balance is 10,000 euros. In Azerbaijan, the average loan balance is 1,000 euros. And in Tanzania, the average loan balance is 250 euros. In the Netherlands, the operating cost, 600 euros equals 6%. In Azerbaijan, the operating cost, 200 euros equals 20%. And in Tanzania, the operating cost, 150 euros equals 60%. So, the smaller the loan that the entrepreneur applies for, the higher the interest rate that needs to be charged.